Hello everyone, today I'm here to bring you my April TBR or To Be Read, the books I plan to read this month. The last couple months I've been really trying to dwindle down my TBR shelf because it's getting a little out of hand honestly, like I just keep adding and adding and adding and I don't read from that TBR shelf. Rather these past few months have been a lot of new releases and so I tend to read those. This month and last month there isn't too many new releases so I really was like I'm gonna focus on my TBR shelf and it's already gotten down a lot so I'm very very happy so that that is my goal for this month as well. I have a couple of new releases, but half of these books I'm gonna talk about today are coming from a TBR shelf, so I am pretty happy. Let's get on to this TBR, and I am being overly ambitious yet again, but that is the story of my life with TBRs. I think I set myself up for failure almost, but it happens. So the two new releases I am planning to read this month, the first one actually I have on my TBR shelf, so it's like a double, like it's already on my shelf, and it's a new release, so yeah. And the first one's going to be Spindlefire by Alexa Hiller. This is a new book in a new series trilogy. I never know how many books there are going to be. I just go along for the ride. I think it's just a kind of darker version of Sleeping Beauty. I mean, it says on the front, A Kingdom Burns, A Sleeping Princess, This Is No Fairy Tale. So its main character's name is Aurora, so it's got to be Sleeping Beauty in my opinion. Hopefully I'm right and I'm not like completely wrong. But it sounds like a really darker version of Sleeping Beauty. I am very excited to read it. I haven't heard many people talk about it. This comes out April 4th, which I think, which might be today, depending when I upload this. Either way, I plan to read it. Like I said, I haven't heard too many things about it, but I'm always up for a retelling of like a fairy tale, especially when it gets a little bit darker and grittier. Yes. And the other new release also comes on April 4th. I just don't have it with me. And that is Alex Approximately by Jen Bennett. This is a new contemporary book. It's kind of like a you've got mail thing, which I feel like a lot of YA contemporaries are gearing toward nowadays, which there's nothing wrong with that by any means, because I love you've got mail, one of my favorite movies of all time. But sometimes they do good with it. Sometimes they don't. It's all like that secret pen pile type of thing. A girl and she's playing a movie. So she's always on this movie forum and she connects with this guy. I think that's Alex. <laughs> I think that's Alex and they start talking and things like that and then she actually ends up moving to where he lives because that's where her father lives so she's moving with her father and she doesn't tell him that he's that she's moving there because she doesn't know how she feels about this relationship quite yet. Gets a job at a museum and she starts to work with like the security guard guy and like him he's just kind of bossy and arrogant and things like that but then she maybe starts to have feelings for the security guard and so she's really grappling with having her feelings for the security guard as well as Alex so she doesn't know what to do. Little does she know that the security guard is Alex only he calls himself but his real life name is Porter I want to say like that's his name the security guard. I Hopefully I'm right and Porter doesn't know that he's talking to the doctor online either so it's definitely got a you've got male vibe because they don't know it at first you know we'll have to see I've heard really really cute things about this so I'm excited because I always love a good contemporary in the spring and summer for sure the next two books or one book I don't know we'll have to see how I feel honestly I'm planning to read is actually a gathering of shadows and a conjuring of light by V.E. Schwab the one of the last books I read last month was actually um, a darker shade of magic which I randomly picked up and I'm so glad I did that book was amazing. I was not expecting to love as much as I did, but I should have because I love E. Schwab's writing. So ugh, needless to say, I really like to read books two and three in this trilogy. The third one just came out last month, I want to say. Regardless, if I don't read both of them, I'm definitely going to read, I'm definitely going to be reading A Gathering of Shadows, which I am kind of hesitant about that because I've heard people say they don't like that one as much, but a lot of people saying they love the third one. So we'll have to see. Depending on how it is, like if I finish A Gathering of Shadows and I'm like, I need to read Conjuring Light like right now that's gonna happen either way I'm putting both of these on my list I don't know if I'll get to both of them but I would love to because I need to finish this trilogy either way A Conjuring Light's you know what it probably needs to be read this month because next month is crazy for new releases hence another reason why I'm trying to get rid of my TBR shelf down because next month is like the mother of all new releases so it's gonna be a lot of book buying and a lot of hurting in my wallet so I need to prepare my shelves and prepare my wallet and prepare my heart all for these things so I probably should read both of them because it probably won't get read next month because it's gonna be an insane month like I said but either way yeah I'm gonna try to read both of them I'm gonna try to do it the next book I'm gonna talk about I'm reading in April but it doesn't come out until May and I need to read it now because I won't have time to read it in May probably is When Dimple Met Rishi by Sandan Sand, Sand, Sandan Menan I probably pronounced that wrong and I apologize very very much like I said this one comes out in May I want to say 
say like May 28th and this is a contemporary book and I cannot wait to read it because I have been hearing amazing things about it. This is all about Dimple and Rishi who are kind of like in a like they're gonna be prepared for an arranged marriage like it's not for sure yet. Dimple really doesn't want anything to do with this arranged marriage. She thinks her parents are putting too much pressure on her but then she goes away to um, a summer program for aspiring web, web developers so she thinks it's gonna be a great summer. Rishi on the other hand is very very for arranged marriages. He's a very traditional guy. He really wants to woo Dimple and he wants her to fall in love with him and they, he you know he believes in that. So when his parents tell him that Dimple is going to be at a summer program he's like maybe I should just go there try to woo her and get these things get these gears going on. So it's all about that. These parents really don't mean to start like turning the gears into this arranged marriage so early but they're like why not? So I, that's what it's all about which is amazing. I've never read a book about arranged marriage per se. I'm really excited about the diversity this book brings and about the adorableness that it brings so I'm super excited to read it and I really want to read it this month because like I said May's going to be crazy. <laughs> to balance out a lot of the contemporary I plan to read this month I would like to read Scythe by is that Scythe? Scythe by Neil Schusterman. I want to say this is a standalone book. I... <sighs> Like I said, I never know. This could be a trilogy. It could be a duology. I don't know. I am horrible. <laughs> Either way, this will be my first Neil Schusterman book. This is his newest release one. I've heard really good things about it, and the plot sounds so interesting. So pretty much in this world, size really control the population. There is a world, it says a world of no hunger, no disease, no war, no misery. Humanity has conquered all these things, and how they control the population is they have these scythes who are responsible to end life, and they are commanded to do so in order to keep control, in order to in order to keep the size of the population under control. So we follow two sides that are chosen as apprentices, roll them that neither once, and so they have to master the art of taking a life. It sounds very, very interesting. I hope it's not to be too creepy because I've heard of wine by him is very, very creepy and stuff, but I really like the plot idea of this. I don't think I've heard too, too many people too many people talk about this book, but needless to say, I really want to read it because it sounds really Next interesting. two books are kind of maybe, maybe not. I put them on this TBR pile in case I have a great reading month and I can fly through all these books I talked about and I have these two. I don't know for sure because I talked about six books that I want to really talk about, but those are a lot of books and and some of them are very intense. So I don't know. I'm going to put two on here because I am overly ambitious. The story of my life. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> The first one, I'm debating whether or not to read because I haven't heard too many amazing things about it, honestly. And that is The Circle by Dave Eggers. If you didn't know, this is going to be a movie this month and it stars Emma Watson, Hermione Granger, and it also has Tom Hanks, one of my favorite actors ever. It's all about like social media, I would say. It's almost like Facebook if Facebook and Google combined and had a baby, which probably will happen one day, honestly. <laughs> but it's all about this company called The Circle and they like I said they're like the mega hub of all social media and things like that and the girl in May that starts working there and she slowly sees how this company is and how she feels like social media is getting very intense. Like I said I've heard very mixed reviews about this. The main thing I've heard about it honestly is the main character is horrible. A lot of people don't like the character May. She's very wishy-washy. She's just not very good. So I'm sure if I'm going to read this before I see the movie because I definitely want to see the movie because it sounds and looks very interesting and gives me that social network vibe which I love the social network so I don't know what do you think if you have read this book and you've seen the trailer for the movie what do you think do you think I should definitely read this before I see the movie or maybe not you know it's hard. It's hard with book to movie adaptations. It's very, very hard. So we'll just have to see how the month goes, honestly, if you want to read this. And the last book I think I can get to because it's only like 230 pages, and that is We Are Okay by, by Nina LaCour. Like I said, very, very short, and I would love to take it off my TBR shelf because it's, you know, getting insane. This is all about, I've heard this is a very, very gripping, very intense novel, and it takes place very, very shortly. It's all about a girl named Megan who something in her life has really struck a chord she kind of left everything behind so she's waiting for her roommate she's waiting for her old best friend i want to say in her college dorm and so they have a conversation so i think it's that and it's rehashing the events that happened in her life also this book has had great diversity in it with um sexuality and things like that so that's awesome but i have also heard mixed reviews on this a lot of people said there are a lot of people that say this book was amazing it really really spoke to them and there's some people that are like it's okay so I'm kind of um, torn whether to read it but I want to because honestly it's so short and I want to fly through it and I've heard amazing things about Nina LaCour's writing so I definitely want to try to read it. So these are all the books I plan to read this April. Now minus, now minus three of them that are in the mail on en route to me currently so I should be holding eight books up. That's right I'm trying to read eight books this month. Whether or not that'll happen 
who knows? Only time will tell, honestly. Either way, I am excited for the majority of these books that I want to read this month, so that's always fun. And if you have read any of these books, please let me know down in the comments which one you liked, which one I should read ASAP. Please let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on them, and tell me what are you reading this month. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe to see more bookish videos for me three times a week, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.